All right, my friends, welcome back to the Space Coast Fishing Experience. Appreciate y'all tuning in today. My name is Matt. This is my channel, friends. We do a ton of surf fishing over here on the Space Coast of Florida, based generally out of the Melbourne Beach area. And my friends, have you ever had one of those trips that just starts off on completely the wrong foot and you need to press reset? Well, that's what I'm experiencing right now. We've got a little bit of rough surf today and I only brought three Sputniks out with me for my three setups. And of course, I got sharked within the first 10 minutes and lost one of my Sputniks. Aside from that, we've, we've hooked into the catfish, my friends. It has been a little bit of a catfish fest to this point. Another catfish, gosh dang it, you guys. Not cool, man. Not cool. Freaking stinking catfish. Get out of here. Every cat, catfish. Every freaking cast. So we're gonna press the reset button and see what we can do. We've got live sand fleas, we've got frozen shrimp, and a dream. Let's go get on them. All right, we got fish on here. Come on, baby. Anything, anything but a catfish. Like literally anything. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Anything but a catfish. We got nothing. No, we got something. We do have something. It is not a catfish, my friends. It is not a catfish. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Oh, that's gonna be close. That's gonna be close. Dang, that's gonna be close. Pompano! All right, that's what we're looking for, my friends. There's a solid pompano. He's probably gonna be just a little shy, but we'll get a measure on him. Heck yeah, that's what we're looking for. Ah, all right, he's gonna be just shy. He's 11 and a half to the, to if you pinch his tail, but he's about 10 and a half to the fork. So just shy, man. All right. Nice pompano, not a catfish. Starting to turn things around, my friends. Let's get him back. He's a chunky guy, too. He'd have been a tasty treat, man. Another inch, half inch. See ya. We got one on down here. We got one on down here, friends. Come on, baby. Let's turn this day around. Give me another pompano, another inch length. Or a big old whiting. Come on, baby. Come on. I don't know. This doesn't feel like a catfish, but they're sneaky, so we'll see. I think I might have seen him on the surface out there, but it's a little choppy, so again, hard to tell. Here he comes. Here he comes. Here he comes. Yes, not a catfish. Ha ha! Another pomp. This guy's a little smaller. He's probably about nine and a half inches, so we'll get him back. But not catfish. That's two in a row, not catfish. I love it. That was on sand fleas. Other one was on shrimp. Oh, we caught my rig that we lost earlier. Heck yeah! That's, that's good luck right there, my friends. So, check this out. We caught our Sputnik rig that we lost earlier when we got sharked. So that's a good bit of luck right there. We'll take that even though we got a catfish on here. We'll get this mess cleaned up. All right, that's a good stroke of luck though. We've turned it around, my friends. We're on, we're on, we're on. We're on, friends. Come on, come on, baby. We just shifted all our rigs and moved spots down south. This feels poppy. Run into the north. Come on, baby. Let's get a keeper in the box. Oh my gosh, it's been a struggle, my friends. This is not acting like a catfish. Come on. Come on. Bring him in with this wave. Come on. Come on, baby. Ah, come on. 
Yes. Pompano. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. That's a keeper too. Heck yeah. You guys. Oh, we stuck it out and made it work. And we've got a keeper pomp. Oh gosh, I'm pumped on this one. Oh yeah. Heck yeah, my friends. Heck yeah. That's a keeper all day. All day in the box. Let's get him taken care of and get back out there. Hopefully with this last of the outgoing tide, we can catch another one. Beauty, he's probably 12 inches. Beautiful fish, about 12 inches, biggest of the day, going in the box. God is good, my friends. We're getting pounded over here. Come on, baby. Did we, oh, did we lose this one? No, I don't think so. Oh, this is a hit hard. This is gonna be a pop, I think. This one just hit it like a ton of bricks. Woo! Keeping me honest here. Yep, <laughs> another pump. All right, this one's not gonna keep, that's all right. It's number four on the day. Easy, boss. All right. Pompano number four, good stuff. Let's get him back. See ya. Well, my friends, we turned it around and made it work after a struggle bus start to the day where I didn't know if we were gonna get anything good. But four Pompano, one for the box, and three of them came on shrimp, the other on fleas. Fleas have been hit or miss lately, you guys. That's why you always bring shrimp with you. I love Blue Magic Frozen Shrimp. You can get them locally at Black Dog, Bait and Tackle, Melbourne Beach. They're the best. Um, proven again and again, they outfish other frozen shrimp by a lot. So let's do a little catch and cook with our pompano. Not quite sure what I want to do with it yet, but uh, let's go back to the house, get it cleaned up, and get in the kitchen. All righty, my friends. Welcome to the cooking portion of the show where we actually are not going to cook anything at all. You guessed it. We're doing pompano sashimi, my friends. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I've heard pompano is really good for sushi and sashimi. This is fresh out of the Atlantic Ocean just earlier today, and I am pumped for this, so let's get straight into it. All righty, my friends. Here is our beautiful piece of pompano fresh out of the Atlantic Ocean. We are gonna cut some sashimi out of this. Like I said, I don't know really what I'm doing here, but I did watch a YouTube video, so that basically makes me an expert. So let's get to cutting. I love sushi, man. My wife and I like to go out and enjoy sushi, and occasionally I like to just try it at home. And, you know, sashimi is such a simple and beautiful way to do it. Um, I absolutely love it. This is my first time, like I said, trying pompano, but I have done it with some other fish, like Spanish mackerel, which is also really good just not really around this time of year. And if we're going out around Melbourne to eat sushi, we absolutely love Naoki. So if you guys are in the area and you're looking for a good sushi spot, definitely try Naoki. I'm cutting these pretty thin. You can cut a little thicker depending on your preference. My friends, I do not have a future as a sushi chef but this presentation gets an A for effort and I am ready to smash some freaking sashimi. Let's go. All right, my friends, moment of truth. Let's get a little piece here, get a little bit of soy sauce and see how we go. Pompano sashimi straight from the Atlantic Ocean today. Oh man, that's, that's phenomenal. Um, if you'd have blindfolded me and told me I was in a sushi restaurant, I'd have believed you 100%. This is super clean, very flavorful, 
And uh, I'm really happy with that, you guys. I'm going to go crush the rest of this. I really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And if you did, let me know if you want to see some more of these catching cooks. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, my friends. And we will see you next time on the Space Coast Fishing Experience.